Let's go over to the University of Ghana campus now, where we understand students are worried over a recent attack on some uh, of their counterparts. MFA Jiradusi is there. She joins us live from campus now. MFA, uh, tell us, what have you learned about this most recent attack? What we do know is that a level 400 student, uh, who is called Daniel Osei, last night was attacked by suspected armed robbers. Um, on this particular set, so if you go to the University of Ghana campus very well, this is Pence, Pentagon Hall, leading straight to the other halls, Ivandi, Bani, and then CS. And so we understand that the incident happened along this line. We've not been able to spot exactly where this happened, but we know this is where the incident happened. But what we do know is that um, the street lines along this street have not really been functioning. Even though we're unable to tell how many are working right now, we've, we've been told by some students that just two of these street lights are working on this stretch of the road. Well, I talked to some students who did not want to speak to me on the record, but they tell me that they are living in fear because even last Saturday, an incident was recorded. They tell me that a young lady, a, a young lady around this street was also attacked. And so they say that it's been, they've been talking about it for years. Several SRC have found to come and talk about it, promise them that they're going to fix the problem. But as of now, nothing has happened. And so this first incident that witnessed uh, that was witnessed yesterday that had a level of 400 students, Daniel said, with deep cutlass cuts in his head and his arm yesterday. Right. Now, uh, what is the current state of the, the victim? Uh, he's in hospital, but um, uh, uh, what is the, 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 uh, the situation well, we with cannot, his health? Uh, now say how the victim is responding, but we, say we do know that the SLC uh, released a press statement yesterday. And in that press statement, they mentioned that a delegation from the university, the vice chancellor's delegation, went to visit the young man who is currently at the 37 military hospital, and they see that he's responding to treatment. Um, but there are a lot of things that the university management said are putting in place, and so we understand that there's going to be some uh, surveillance on campus, that policemen are going to be on campus throughout, because you know that they're writing exams, and so they'll be around until exams uh, is done. And also, they are working to fix the various traffic lights. Indeed, when I got, when I got, to, got to campus, I saw some police vehicles on campus, which maybe seem to suggest that um, the patrol that they talked about has already begun. Mm. Tell me more about the, the, the state of mind of students following this attack. Obviously, they must be quite concerned. But uh, are they pointing to any lapses in the current arrangements beyond the um, fact that they I, think I there should be more? You. Can you please? Right. I, I'm hoping you can hear me. Uh, if, you can, if you can hear me, I'm asking that beyond the obvious call for more security, are uh, the students pointing to any particular lapses in the existing security arrangements which they think may have led to this and other attacks? Well, no. In fact, some of the students I wanted to interview, they told me that they were tired of talking. In fact, they said they've been talking. One of them said it's in 400, level 400, and they've been making noise about this several times. And they, and they know they feel that you know, management of the SRC is best unconcerned about their problems. And so they know that well, maybe because of this issue that happened yesterday and the media is talking about it, they will fix it. But they say that they have talked about it several times and nothing has been done. And they don't think anything else will be done in this week. Mm. Well, MFA, we're going to stay on top of this one. Thank you so much for that uh, most recent update. Nancy MFA Jardusi reporting there from the University of Ghana League on campus where uh, one level 400 student has sustained cutlass wounds to the head uh, in an armed attack. Right, well, this is where we're going to bring the curtain down on the show. A bit of a depressing end there, but uh, hopefully the police will be able to apprehend the culprits of that crime on Ligon campus. We can't thank you enough for making the time to be with us yet again right here on the AM show. And if your fix for the news has not yet been cured, you know where to go, myjournalonline.com, where you will find all of the latest updates on all of the biggest stories. Or just stay where you are. Keep watching us. Uh, because we're here for the duration. My name is Kujo Yangsen. It's always an honor. Let's do it again tomorrow. Bye-bye.